Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update to my Project Wax and this is the official fall introduction of my Project Wax. We did add in a few fall scents last time but this is the first like full on fall project use it up for my candles i'm so excited to show you guys and as you can tell i've decorated the background we're ready for fall i even put up this little guy which i consider him a halloween decoration but it's just super adorable to have this light in the video so i have him included in here but yeah i do have a few empties to show you guys from the last update um some updates on the other candles and then i'm introducing a ton of new candles for this project so i hope you guys are ready Get a snack because it might be a longer video. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's start off with the candles that I did end up finishing since the last update, which I believe was either the first week of August or yeah, I think the first week of August. So I have Pink Petal Tea Cake, which is the first one that I finished off. And you can see it progress right here. So we started out here, went down to here, and then I finished it off last month. I really enjoyed this one. Um, I was trying to get rid of it before fall, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't think I would, I guess I would repurchase it, but it's not hoard worthy for myself. I'm not the biggest floral person, but I did enjoy the rose tone. It was like a little rosy vanilla. I never got any cake out of it, but it was a great scent and I thought it was like very high scale and something that Bath and Body Works doesn't really do a lot is this kind of like very professional almost candle like I would smell this in like in like a realtor's office or something I don't know so yeah I really did enjoy this candle so I finished that one off the next one I finished off is coconut sandalwood which I'm actually really sad to have finished um I enjoyed this one a lot so started out here went down to here and then finished it off in a month it burned amazing there was not a lot of soot at all it was an amazing scent. The notes on this are coconut palm, luxurious sandalwood, and jasmine. It was so good. Just a very like high scale. It, it, it made me think I was in like Urban Outfitters or something. That's what it smells like. So I would absolutely search for this again and repurchase it. I got this during SAS and I believe it was like $6 or something. It was an amazing price and it is, I think, an international candle because it has a really um different lid not lid different um bottom than the rest of the candles do but it was absolutely amazing totally would get that one again and then my personal favorite cinnamon spice vanilla and paris cafe you guys i burned the crap out of this <laughs> so here's my update started out um full and then went down to here and then went down to here i was trying to not burn this as much this month versus last month because i got through when i first tried the scent i got through that one in like two weeks I was burning it every single morning and leaving it going for like four hours and I was going crazy with it. So I was a little um, less lenient this time, but it was so good. Absolutely amazing scent. I already have like two backups of this again. So thoroughly enjoyed this candle. Would absolutely repurchase and I hope they come out with it again. I wouldn't even be mad if they like repackaged it as like a cinnamon latte or something like I feel like that's the exact same thing that it is so that was really good and that is the last candle that I finished up so I finished up three in the last month now for the updates the first one I have is homeworks chocolate birthday cake so this one I've been burning steadily over the past month and I've gotten really far like I probably have two or three more burns left in this candle it is pretty far down to the bottom of the jar so we went from here to here in a month so that's quite a lot i've been burning it like crazy it's just like a chocolate icing kind of scent i don't really get cake it's really just like chocolate fudge icing to me it's amazing it's a really good scent but um not super strong and i probably will not purchase it again i liked it but nothing crazy nothing crazy amazing so i'll continue to burn this it'll be gone in a few more burns anyways Okay, the next one I have to update you guys on is Hot Cider Donut. I included this one just in case I wanted to burn some fall candles, but honestly, I was not really in the mood for fall candles that much, so I only burned it like maybe once or twice. So we only did from here to here in a month, so not a lot of progress on this one, but it is still a really great scent. I love it. I can 
definitely smell it. It's super strong whenever it's burning and I'll continue to use this one throughout next month and you know get some more progress on it but I just wasn't feeling the fall candles yet this month. I was kind of really focusing on chocolate birthday cake and not so much on any other kind of cake candle so this one is on the back burner but I definitely will try and get some more progress. And the last one I have to update you guys on is pumpkin donut shop. So I was definitely focusing more on this one and chocolate birthday cake. And here is the progress I've made from here to here. It was a pretty bad burner at first. Um, as you can see, there's some wax deposited on the side. It had this huge chunk that just would not melt and it was like hanging over like a cliff over the top of the wax and it finally melted over the last time I burned it and we're about at the halfway point. So just an amazing scent. It's literally powdered sugar donuts. It's so, so good of a scent. I've loved this every year it comes out. It is such a great scent. It is a great thrower absolutely amazing. I'll definitely have this finished up in the next month. I really love it. Okay, so I'm gonna introduce a lot of candles to this project. I have three remaining and then I'm going to introduce eight candles. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start with some older candles that I'm going to try and get through over the next month. So the first one is Give Warmth Marble Chocolate Cupcake from last year's Candle Day. Um, this one for me did not perform very well initially, so I'm actually going to try and crock this one and finish it off in my bedroom and just get rid of it because it didn't smell at all when I burned it before. But it smells great. On cold, it smells absolutely amazing. The notes on this are sweet cocoa, milk chocolate topped with vanilla glaze. And that's what it smells like in here. It smells amazing. It smells just like a marble cake smells. So I'm hoping that putting it in the crock, I will be able to actually smell it. But here is where I'm currently at. And of course, if I crock it, the wax is not gonna change um, in volume, but at least I can try and get the last bit of scent out of this that I can. Okay, I did just realize that I forgot to update you guys on this little single wick in Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint. I've been trying to go through this for a couple months. Um, not really like, intentionally trying to finish it but just trying to see how often I would actually use a single wick candle in my bedroom. Um, ever since I moved into this townhome we really don't stay on the third floor at all and that's where our bedroom is where the laundry room is and that's pretty much all we do is go up there to sleep and then in the morning get ready and leave. We hang out primarily on this main second floor which is the family room. Um, it's the living room obviously the TV, my office is right there, the kitchen and the dining room is all right there. So this is like the living space. So I don't use single wicks a lot anymore. Um, so anyways, this is all like an experiment, I guess, for this single wick. So this is how much progress I've made on it in four months. So from here to here, and then a little bit and a little bit. So not too much progress, but I'm still steadily making progress. So I'm gonna keep this one in, just again, like I said, as an experiment to see how much I would regularly use. So that's this little single wick. And while I'm on the topic of single wicks, I'll just go ahead and introduce the next one. And that is the DW Homes Dinner Roll Candle. Totally suckered in to buy this from TikTok last year. And I went to my TJ Maxx, it was $7.99. Oh, and you can see the smoke on here because I actually was burning it earlier today. Um, but the lid has little dinner rolls and it's so cute. It honestly doesn't smell like much. It's very, very light. And I burned this in our bedroom the last couple of days. And then I just decided like I should put this in the project and try and finish it because it has zero scent. There's no notes on here, but it's supposed to be, you know, it smells like a dinner roll. I will give it some credit and say it's like a two out of 10 in throw. It smells like bread, but that's about it. So I'm just gonna try and finish this up. It's nice to have a candle going for the ambiance. I like have it going, having it going in like the background of videos and like while I get ready in the morning and stuff, but that's like the only reason I've used this lately. So I'm just gonna try and finish it off so that way I can get it out of my collection. But yeah, it has zero scent. So I might crop this one also after chocolate marble cake. We'll see. The next one that I have is a banana walnut muffin from last year. This one, tons of people loved. And I have to say I'm not one of them. I hate this scent, hated. Hate's a really strong word, but I did not like this scent. The notes on this are sweet banana, golden nutmeg, cinnamon sugar muffin. Um, but by the time I had already burned it, it was too late to return it. So I'm not gonna return it. 
but I am gonna try it now that I live in a house and not at my parents' home. I can burn candles in the kitchen now. So I'm gonna try it burning in the kitchen because it really does smell like banana bread. I think burning it in my bedroom, it was like choking me out. It was like way too strong and overpowering, but I feel like in the kitchen, it's gonna be really good. So, I mean, smelling it on cold right now, I haven't smelled it since last fall, I'm gonna be honest. Smelling it right now, it actually smells pretty good. So maybe my scent, my nose has also changed too, but yeah, I'm gonna try and get through this one. I'll update you guys uh, in the next update of this project, how that went. So wish me luck, but we are starting off right about here. As you can see, I tried to use it up last year and just couldn't get through it. So hopefully now that I can use it in my kitchen, I will be able to get through it and love it. But I know a lot of people love that one and I feel like I, I'm gonna try it this time and just really try to like it. The next candle that I have is a newer one and that is pumpkin peanut brittle. Now this one did come out originally, I think in 2019, the, for the first time and I got it then and it was so, so good. The notes on this are crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts and toasted pumpkin seeds. Now I know this one's on an exclusive this year, but I totally recommend it. It is a beautiful graham cracker peanut butter scent. That's what it smells like. It smells like you have graham crackers, you just dip them in some peanut butter and oh, it smells so good. So I'm really excited to burn this one. I feel like this is perfect as a like transition into fall scent. I'm gonna be lighting this up probably tonight. We're about to watch Game of Thrones if you guys watch that, but it is Sunday night. We're about to watch that. So I think I'm gonna uh, light this candle up and set the vibes, but yeah so yummy i have uh two backups of this one already so highly 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 recommend if you do an online purchase anytime soon pick this one up another new one that i adore is champagne apple and honey um i guess not really new but this is this year's packaging it's been out for a few years as a candle but as you guys know that is a classic body care scent that they come out with every single fall the notes on this one are crisp apple sparkling champagne and jasmine honey this is such a good candle totally unburned but I absolutely adore it it is this beautiful champagne toast champagne toast vibes right you mix in like some either freshly squeezed apples or like an apple perfume because it really does have the body care notes to it it's not a full-on gourmand like you could eat it it is a little bit body care oh Gosh, it is such a beautiful scent. I'm so excited to burn this one. I had this um, in years past. I think I've had it last year, I wanna say. Um, and it was amazing. So I'm so excited to burn this one. It is so yummy. Mm, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. So that's the next one that's going to be added to the project. Let's take a break from Bath & Body Works and talk about a couple Homeworks ones that I'm gonna put in. These are from a brand new haul and I will link that haul up above in the eye so you guys can see that. But I did pick up Harvest Bake Shop from Homeworks. Beautiful, beautiful candle. The scent notes on this one are creamy pumpkin, crushed gingerbread, sugared molasses, and whipped buttercream. This one I feel like might be more of an October to November kind of scent, maybe even into December. But if I'm feeling in the mood for it, I want to have it out. It is this beautiful brown sugar, cinnamon, molasses, pumpkin gingerbread. A lot of notes, but such an amazing, like multifaceted scent, which is what I love about the homework scents that I've tried so far. They're, they're very, deep they have so many different notes and layers to them i feel like this one is going to be just the same and i'm really excited to try it so that's going to be put in the project and of course i don't expect to finish off all these candles in one month um, at the pace that i'm at i'm using about three to four candles per month which is what i'm expecting to do with these so the next one i'm also putting in is mochaccino crumb cake you guys know i'm obsessed with the coffee scents, so this is definitely going to be a morning coffee scent for me the notes on this are vanilla crumb cake mocha latte creamy caramel and powdered sugar such an amazing scent this smells so good it smells like you walked into a cafe you ordered an espresso and a croissant or an espresso and a piece of crumb cake it smells so good so i'm very excited to have this one going in the mornings i just feel more productive when i have like a coffee candle going in the mornings so that's this one and then i have two candles left so don't leave just yet i have two more bath and body works candles 
And the first of them is pumpkin pecan waffles. This is last year's packaging. I really did like this with like the little, um, I don't know, all these beautiful little pumpkins and waffles and different types of uh, materials. It's just really, really pretty. So the notes on pumpkin pecan waffles are maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice. This one, honestly a great scent year round, but it reminds me of college. It reminds me of living with my roommates in college. There was five girls in one apartment. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of us, but I remember significantly burning my roommate burning this one in the fall mm, and it is just a beautiful scent maybe we even had like a wall plug-in or something with this scent but i remember it and it brings oh my god i'm getting emotional right now it brings me back to college and living with those girls and just having the best time i'm so excited to burn this one especially on like lsu game days when i'm watching the game oh my gosh i'm gonna get nostalgic right now i'm like literally about to tear up anyways such a great scent i cannot wait to burn this as you can tell since have memories guys <laughs> since definitely have memories and they bring you back and this is one of those ones and i'm so excited to burn it so i can evoke all those feelings again and just be super cozy so the last scent that i have to include in this project is a winter one so here's the winter lid i'm so sorry for my fingerprints on there but a winter lid and it is hot cocoa and cream in this beautiful packaging, I believe from last year, right? Yeah, from last year. Um, the reason why I'm putting in hot cocoa and cream is because I believe in 2020, they came out with a Halloween candle called Hot Cocoa and Scream. It was dark chocolate instead of milk chocolate, but it was absolutely amazing. And I loved having that type of Swiss Miss chocolate cocoa scent going in October. It was so, so yummy. So the notes on hot cocoa and cream are decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. Oh my gosh, this scent is so good. It really just smells like the hot cocoa powder. It does not smell like a, a fully done hot cocoa. If you go somewhere that has like the Ghirardelli hot cocoa and it's like amazing, that's what this smells like. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. But it does smell like the Swiss Miss powder. But if you're talking about like a actual drink hot cocoa, it has to be Ghirardelli. Anyways, so, so yummy. So yeah, this one is gonna be another one that I'm looking forward to in, ho in the Halloween time in October. And I'm excited to get this one out and like watch Hocus Pocus and just feel like really cozy and whatever. So yeah, that's hot cocoa and cream. So I did just introduce like a ton of new candles for this fall project, but I think what's going to end up happening is I'm going to go through a lot of candles in the next couple of months. Fall is my favorite, my absolute favorite time to burn candles. It is my favorite um, scent profile. I love everything having to do with fall. So I think I'm just gonna get through a lot more candles and um, this is like pretty much all the fall candles that I have. I have a few more that I'm keeping upstairs in my bedroom that are just back stock. Um, but yeah, these are all the ones that I'm gonna include for the fall project use it up. So that is everything from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's motivating you to get through your candles as well. Let me know down below um, if you have a scent memory like I do with pumpkin pecan waffles. Let me know that down below. I really would love to hear that because I feel like Oftentimes people just kind of don't recognize the power that that can hold and I think us in the fragrance community We obviously understand that and we feel that like vanilla bean noel for me reminds me of high school It reminds me <laughs> I wore that every single day in high school. I love that scent. I wore it year-round I didn't it didn't matter that it wasn't Christmas time um, So that one reminds me of high school. This one reminds me of college Let me know down below if you have one that reminds you of something um, I'm just, I really want to know because I feel like that's something like that we can all kind of share and confide in each other about. I just think it's really interesting about that. Like us as humans, we're so cool. Anyways, that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like comment and subscribe down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.